Let's take a look at some helpful things we can do for presenting using Visual Studio. So if you're at a conference or you want to demo to your colleagues or whatever, at some point when you're going to show Visual Studio to a larger audience, you want to make sure that they can see the font sizes, they can see all they need to see in your demo. So for Visual Studio, I have here just my regular instance of Visual Studio with a dark theme and you can see my font size here on both in the editor but also like in solution explorer for instance and the menus up here are a little too small like it's hard to see from far away even on a big screen uh in a conference hall for instance and um also dark theme might not be as good for presentations and so like a, the blue or the light theme might be better but instead of me having to go and change all that uh, so I can do my presentation and then afterwards change it all back. Uh, we can do something a little smarter. So I've installed an extension called Tweaks. It'll be linked in the description below. And with Tweaks, I get a handy little shortcut. So I can right click in the taskbar all the way down here. And I now have something called presentation mode. So let's click that. Now that creates a new instance of Visual Studio, but sort of in a parallel universe. Notice here how it didn't carry over the dark theme setting. Um, it's actually a sort of the default settings of Visual Studio. You see, I have different window layout. I have the server explorer and toolbox over here. I didn't have that before. I got team explorer down here. I did not have that either. So this is a different kind of Visual Studio, even though it's actually the same because you can see I'm still signed in using my own account. Now, if I go to tools options, go to environment and accounts, by default, synchronize settings across devices when signed into Visual Studio, that setting is unchecked. And that's really nice because if it was checked, then this version of Visual Studio, the presentation mode version, and my regular version would synchronize all the settings. So my themes and my font size and all that sort of stuff would always be synchronized. And I don't want that for this particular uh, scenario. So let's go ahead and open uh, the same project that I had opened before. Notice, by the way, that it says demo over here. So I can see now that I'm in sort of a demo mode. So here's what it looks like. And I'm going to change the fonts here. So I can go in, go to fonts and colors. And I think I should probably maybe do a 16 pixels for the editor. And then for Solution Explorer and all my menus, I'm going to find this thing called Environment. Notice it's automatic. It follows basically Windows and its font sizes and stuff. Um, but I can go down here and select Segoi UI, which is the font that it's using by default. And instead of font size 8, let's make it 11. Click OK. So now you can see it's much easier to see. And uh, even uh, Solution Explorer uh, is now visible to even the people in the, in the, on the back row of your, the conference room or the big um, auditorium you might be presenting in. So all these settings do not affect, let's close this down, do not affect the original Visual Studio as you see right here. And if I were to go back into presentation mode, it will open up and it will now have remembered all those settings, the different window layout I have and so on, even the extensions. So if I go in and look at extensions, I actually have a much different number of extensions. You see, I only have a few here. These are the ones that are called per machine extensions. These are the ones that are common for all Visual Studios on my same machine. But if I go back and look at extensions in my original um, Visual Studio, you can see I have a lot more. And so I can not only customize the settings, the fonts, all that sort of stuff, window layout, but also the extensions that I use specifically. So for presentation mode, it might be really nice not to have any extensions to kind of give that uh, sort of lowest common denominator kind of presentation where everyone has exactly what you're presenting as well. They don't need like external extensions, for instance, uh, to see what you're seeing. So that removes some confusion and some noise from your presentation and might be really helpful. 
So that was it. That was my tip. So go check out the Tweaks extension. It's free. It's on the Visual Studio Marketplace. Link below. Thank you.